What's going on, sixpackapps.com? It's Thomas DeLauer, your lead nutritionist and creator of the science-based six-pack program, which you can find in the description below. It's the ultimate intermittent fasting program. So today, I wanna to talk about why you need fat to burn fat, specifically dietary fat. And here's the thing. You might be thinking that I'm starting to go down the road of talking about a ketogenic diet. I'm not. I'm talking about why specific fats help out something known as adenopectin. You see, when we have body fat in our bodies, that body fat allows the production of something known as adenopectin. What adenopectin does is stimulate the breakdown of that actual adipose tissue. But here's what's kind of interesting. Studies have shown that those that have a lot of adipose tissue, like those that are severely overweight or even obese, although they have high amounts of adipose tissue, their bodies don't create a lot of adenopectin. So they have a hard time actually burning that fat. So it's interesting, the more body fat that we store, the more that our body wants to hang on to it. But if we could just allow the release of this awesome thing called adenopectin, then we could get our bodies to start letting go of it. Have you ever noticed that if you're at a certain weight or a certain body fat percentage, you have a hard time breaking through it, and once you start breaking through it, you start cascading into a lot more weight loss? Well, that's simply because of this adenopectin. Your body is set there, and your adenopectin levels are just stationary. You're not secreting a whole lot of them. Well, what's really interesting is that a lot of studies are starting to show that the consumption of monounsaturated fats, we're talking about avocado oils, olive oils, things like that, actually increase the amount of adenopectin that your fat cells or adipose tissue can actually release. So it unlocks your body's ability to use fat. So a lot of this ended up becoming an issue back when we were restricting our fats so much. Our good old friend Ansel Keys, who really pushed a low fat, higher carbohydrate diet, ended up bringing in a lot more refined sugars, ended up bringing in a lot more high fructose corn syrup because we were trying to avoid calories from fat. Well, what that ended up doing ended up shocking our bodies so much that they held on to the adipose tissue and held on to that adenopectin. But here's what else is interesting. High consumptions of omega-3 fatty acids actually trigger specific hepatic enzymes, those are liver enzymes, that allow your body to utilize adenopectin more. So you have it happening from two different angles. Monounsaturated fats like the olive oils and the avocados and things like that will trigger your fat cells to release this adenopectin, which causes your metabolism to increase and to burn that fat. And then, of course, we have the omega-3s that actually allow your body to utilize it better. So you have the increase of a hormone and then you have an increase in the receptiveness to a hormone hormone by combining these two. So this is really, really powerful. Now additionally, by adding dietary fats into the mix, you of course have a lot of satiation. Now there are multiple studies out there that prove that by adding fats into the mix, you are more satiated and thereby don't consume as many calories. But that's not as fun and not as glamorous as understanding the fact that your body can actually burn more fat by consuming more fat. But I do have one very important rule for you here, and that's to not be combining carbohydrates with those fats. Well, at least don't combine high glycemic carbohydrates with those fats. So you don't wanna be combining things like rice cakes or things like sugar along with those fats. You wanna to try to be getting those fats in with low glycemic carbs or separate away from carbs whenever possible, or all the best going on a ketogenic or a fasting lifestyle that's gonna allow you to utilize those fats even better. So remember, it comes down to adenopectin. It also comes down to leptin. Remember we talked about leptin before, how leptin is the fat cell's ability to communicate with the brain. So if we have our leptin levels higher, along with our adenopectin levels higher, that are actually able to be released, then we're really in a magical state. And remember again, you have more adenopectin the more body fat that you have on your body. So if you have a lot of extra body fat, the cool thing is you have a lot of adenopectin that's stored up ready to go. That also explains why people that are at say 30 or 40% body fat can get down to 20% body fat really quick, but then they have a harder time getting down below that. It's because that first chunk is really easy to lose because you can trigger that adenopectin release that you already have so much of. So I hope that this helps explain some things. And as always, if you want more information on the best way to get your body to utilize fat as a source of fuel, check out the link below in the description and check out the science-based six-pack intermittent fasting course. I will see you guys in the next video.